Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. So I have an interesting video for you guys today and it's my favorite under eye setting powder for dark skin and you know women of color. And if you're a dark skin beauty, you know how difficult it is knowing the right um, under eye setting powder to use on yourself and of course you know most of the setting powders you know we have out there doesn't really match our skin tone so I decided to show you guys my top favorite setting powder for the under eye and this powder I have right here you know I use them on a daily basis I love you know each and every one of this powder right here and of course the very first powder I want to share with you guys is 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 definitely let me know in the comment section if you guessed it right and my favorite under eye setting powder for you know for dark skin and women of color is this powder right here and this is from sasha cosmetics and it's called buttercup this right here stole my heart the very first time i used it like there's just something about this powder you guys it's finely milled and one amazing thing about it is the fact that you know it sets the under eye so so well without leaving that you know like ghostly effect when you take pictures or you know when you look at yourself on the mirror you could see like it's like you know your your face you know is looking so like whitish this right here doesn't give that ghostly effect it just you know blends and sets the under eye so so well and I also notice whenever I use this powder you know like my under eye wrinkles and creases doesn't you know it doesn't appear much whenever I use this powder it just blends in because I guess because it's very very you know like it's finely milled so it just like penetrates right into the skin and just blends out the concealer and then the next powder I have here let me know if you guess this one right because I've been using this one throughout like I would say for the past three months or so I've just been using this powder right here here on my channel and is this one from Laura Mercier and is the Tr Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder this powder right here you guys if you follow my makeup tutorials you know of late I've been addicted to this powder like I used to have a mixed feeling when it comes to this powder it didn't really go well with me like the very first time i bought it and i just like kept it and forgot all about it until recently when i decided to just pick it up and give it a second try and oh my gosh you guys this powder right here just you know stole my heart and one thing i noticed with this powder is of course it's very very it's finely milled and it's translucent so that means it doesn't have any color to it unlike the sasha um, buttercup as you all can see the sasha buttercup has you know a yellow color to it while this one is translucent and i can't complain with the sasha you know and the yellow because the yellow definitely suits our skin tone so the sasha buttercup has somewhat like a yellow so i don't think it will look good on you know a fair skin person because the sasha Cup might come out yellow but the amazing thing about this Laura Mercier is the fact that it's translucent so that means whether black white anybody can actually use this powder and I love using this powder right here to set the inner portion of my face because of course you guys know I have an oily skin so just love to go in with this and my beauty blender and just you know push the product right into my pores it will just you know layer right into the skin without like causing any creasing or any color so that is one amazing thing about this product so and a drugstore alternative to the Laura Mercier translucent powder I just shared with you guys is this one from Airspawn and you can actually pick this one up from any um, of the drugstore you know near you whether Walgreens, Rite Aid I believe they also sell it in Target if I'm not mistaken so this right here you know always reminds me of the Laura Mercier translucent powder because they actually look exactly the same like this right here can easily pass for a drugstore you know alternative to this Laura Mercier loose powder but the only difference is I believe this the Laura Mercier powder is like $38 while this one is probably like I think seven or eight dollars so you guys you can imagine the difference but the only thing I've noticed everybody complains about this powder is the fact that it has somewhat like you know a granny smell to it I don't know how to explain it but it has this very strong like smell to it it's not a bad smell at all I actually love the smell but I've noticed you know a lot of people complain about the smell like to me I don't have any issue with the smell I actually love it it's like I don't know how to explain it. it like it's like floral scents I, I can't explain it but I actually love the 
the you know the smell of the powder although a lot of people complain about the smell a little goes a long way like they if the Laura Mercier lasts you for three months this one would probably last you for nine months or a year because you just need a little of this powder right here and yeah you guys I love it it sets the under eye so so well without you know leaving any ghostly effect on the on the face all right so the next powder I have here is I don't know whatever happens to Ben Nye. Like I remember, I would say like two or three years ago, this powder was everywhere, whether black or white. Everybody was raving about this powder, and then all of a sudden, like the rave stopped. And I believe the main problem people had with this powder is the packaging. Like when you deposit the powder on the cap, you can't really take it back. So people thought that you know they were just wasting products, which I cannot actually you know understand to that. But I actually love this Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder that this is still you know one of my favorites although I know a lot of people don't use it no more ever since Sasha Buttercup came out most people just you know started using the Sasha Buttercup and forgot about the Ben 9 but it does exactly the same thing the Sasha Buttercup does and this one also has somewhat like you know a yellow color to it the Ben 9 has a yellow color so it's not really translucent you know it sets the under eye so well I actually love this powder you know a lot with setting the under eye because it sets it and I also notice that it helps like you know like absorb oil I don't really produce oil so much like unlike you know when I use the other setting powder this one right here I don't know what it is but you know it just keeps my oil production at base so that is you know one one of the reasons I love this powder so much and the next under eye setting powder I have right here is this one from Amazing Cosmetics and I've actually you know been using this powder for the past two weeks and I love it I totally love it you guys and it's you know a translucent powder for some reason it just reminds me of the Laura Mercier translucent powder but in the compact form like the very first time I, I brought it out to use I was like oh my god this looks white but surprisingly when I used it to set my my concealer it just you know blends in so well without even leaving any color I was like oh my god it's really translucent because I couldn't see even a single color on my face it just set my under eye concealer without a single color showing through and for the fact it's in a compact form you will find out that you know you won't like waste products you will just pick the right amount of product you need and just use it to set your under eye I always love to use it you know to set like my under eye my nose like all the areas where I normally apply my concealer that is you know where I normally go in with this powder to set and it sets it so well without even any like ghostly effects or any flashback when I take pictures and the very last powder I have right here to show you guys is this one from Sephora and is the Sephora smoothing translucent setting powder and this one right here actually you know is almost like a white powder I wouldn't say it's like it's a pure white powder but you know it's almost white but I actually love using this particular setting powder whenever I use a concealer that has a very like pronounced yellow undertone to it with the translucent white color it will help to just you know balance the the yellow from the concealer unlike if I went in with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder this right here has a yellow color to it so if my under eye you know will appear so so yellow so that is where using a white um, almost like a white setting powder comes into play so I always love to use you know the white um, under eye setting powder to just correct the yellow because you know whatever color you have once you add anything like white to it it will help dilute you know the color so that is you know the only time I love using this product right here or even when I'm working on clients because sometimes you know you have different undertones and colors you're working with so I always have this powder right here at hand because it just helps me a lot with you know with correcting whatever um, color the under eye concealer comes with so that is why you know I also decided to include this powder right here in my favorite under eye setting powder for dark women yeah guys I believe that is basically it these are like the my favorite under eye setting powder I absolutely you know genuinely love this product right here definitely let me know in the comment section if there is any under eye setting powder you love that you know I didn't mention in this video because I would definitely like to check them out and yeah I believe that is it and of course you guys I hate saying this I hate you know talking about this but you know I can see myself from the viewfinder my hands 
as you all can see I have a different color from my hand and my body because I know a lot of people will tell me I'm bleaching please you guys I don't bleach I've talked about this one million times on my channel where my hands tend to get darker when it comes to like fall and winter like the cold weather season so that is why as you all can see I have you know a different color with my hand I hate this like I hate it with passion but yeah I guess I'll have to deal with it yeah guys I just want to put that out there because I know a lot of people will come back again to tell me to stop bleaching meanwhile I don't bleach I've never bleached in my life like seriously you guys yeah I hope you all found this video helpful and to my next one I will see you all very very soon